if I meet anybody or anybody that wants to uh, meet me, it's like, you know, I'm so down to earth. Um, I'm a really simple person and, you know, I'm open to meet anybody. I don't, I'll talk to a bum on the street, you know, just as fast as I'll talk to um, a millionaire or something like that. I, I'm very humble and, you know, I feel like everybody on this earth is, has the ability um, to be great and that God has, you know, created us and woven us specifically and perfectly for the reasons that he wants us to be here. And I just pray that everybody on this earth realizes that at one point and glorifies him in their, in their life. People probably wouldn't know about my faith um, in Christ. People probably wouldn't know um, that I like to shop. People wouldn't, you know, know that I have a older, one older brother. I'm more mature now as a player and they expect to see that on the court and see that reflection of my maturity in my game. So, I mean, and it was like my responsibility um, to go overseas and use that time wisely because, you know, most players um, go overseas and realize how different the game is and how different overseas play is from WNBA play. And most players do use that time to get better. And when they come back, WNBA coaches can see the difference. So, um, yeah, I just put that as one of my goals to make sure that I um, season, am seasoned when I get back to here for training camp after this last season overseas and that um, I give the coaches a great reason to put me in the game. As a college player, I was always like a mid-range player. You know, that was like my go-to. Like I could shoot a mid-range jumper easier than, you know, anything else. And it, it was like a layup to me, you know, a mid-range jumper. But um, after coming here, Coach Reeve kind of examined my game and saw how I could be better. And since I'm such an explosive player, she told me that it would benefit me better if I learned. Because I always like shot underhand layups, but it was a finger roll that I wasn't comfortable with. So um, she kind of like worked with me on that. And overseas, I did it like nonstop. I was constantly working on it. And now, um, you know, I'm getting better at it and I'm using it in the game. And it has like shot up my shooting percentage and I'm getting more comfortable with it each and every day. It's helped a lot, especially like with my confidence and driving to the hole, you know. Um, you know, I, I don't think twice anymore about getting to the hole and I'm like a quicker player. So, um, you know, Coach Reeves said, use that quickness and use that first step. Um, and I used to like kind of jump stop sometimes too, once I get to the basket um, for a layup. So now using the finger roll makes everything that much quicker. So the defender really can't catch up with me to, you know, contest my layups. In a team that we have, we have so many options. We have so many weapons. So, you know, you don't have to, you know, take on the, that responsibility of having to score. You can set someone up so easy, you know, and, you know, they're going to knock the shot down. You can, you know, make a play, take your time. You know, that's another thing that, you know, I had a big problem. I was always in a rush. I was, like, wanting to play fast, but um, this type of game um, is more mental than anything. My family has always had dogs. Um, right now, my dog is, like, really old now, but I have a rescue. She's like a German Shepherd mix. She still hangs out with my dad right now, so my dad is like um, at home, you know, he's retired, so they're just like hanging out, living the good life, waiting on me to come home <laughs> when I have time. Y'all know, like every time I see a dog, he just like, you know, makes me want to like, you know, pat him on the head or something. I'm never like scared, like when people say like dogs did certain things, like, I'm like, yeah, I don't believe like a dog can really be vicious unless it's been like abandoned or treated badly. Like I could, if I wasn't playing basketball, I'd probably work at like SPCA or something. <laughs> my grandma has like a smaller Maltese she used to have a Shih Tzu, but he passed. Um, my aunt um, had a Rottweiler mix. So, you know, everybody in my family has dogs, and um, I don't know, we're just a dog family. We're not big, like, we gotta have animals all the time, but, you know, if, you know, the opportunity comes up and, you know, a dog it needs, like, a home, a loving home, then my family is always, like, okay with it. We take on the responsibility. I'm like a sound person, so like certain sounds like kind of like trigger, I don't know what it is, it just triggers something in my head and I'm just like, oh, I like that sound. But like the dog food bag, it's like, I really like it. And I'm a dog lover, so you know, I've got a chance to have, to hear many dog food bags, but <laughs> something about like the, I guess the paper that it's made of, it's like really durable <laughs> and it like makes a weird sound. I've never heard that sound anywhere else before. I'll probably, I can't pick up certain stuff, it's just certain sounds just I like. <laughs> I started studying my senior year in college, um, kind of like around the fall. It's like the beginning of the fall semester in college, my senior year, and you know, never looked back since. You know, once I learned, you know, what um, the Bible and what being a Christian was all about, um, you know, it definitely made a difference in my life and um, it changed me forever. <laughs>
My church um, has like sister churches all over the world. So I definitely I have a church here in Minnesota. It's called the Minnesota St. Paul Church of Christ. Um, they meet at De La Salle High School, High School on Sundays, and um, you know weekly, you know we're always doing stuff um, in each ministry. And you know I have so many friends that come to the games, and we're always you know going out to dinner. We're always you know you know discipling each other, and you know there's so many things that we do. It's like hard to get into it all. <laughs> It's just feel like you have family everywhere you go, any and everywhere that you go, um, family in Christ, um, family that no matter what, you know that both of you have the same faith and the same beliefs. And because of that, we you know treat each other like brother and sister. That was just something I always wanted to learn to do and it is definitely hard and you it definitely gets you in shape, but you have to be finely tuned machine to be a professional kickboxer. So um, yeah, I mean, it was just something I, thought about and saw, you know, the opportunity present itself when I was off, so I went ahead and did it. You're not really fighting anybody. You're just, um, you know, punching the bag, kicking the bag, and it's about technique and conditioning, and you're really sore and stuff afterwards, a lot of core. You know, that's one thing I wanted to work on was my core. I mean, it just helped me get in shape. It just helped me to, um, you know, get conditioned. It helped me to strengthen my core. That was like one of the main things I did it because it's like huge part of it is you know, a strong core. So um, it was just another thing to help my edge when I got back to training camp. Initially I wanted to go to law school after I graduated, um, but I got drafted immediately and you know had to come straight here. So I didn't, and since then I haven't had time to do anything. So um, you know, if the opportunity comes up that I can go to law school and be able to um, get my law degree, that would be awesome.